everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a haul a collective haul um, with some things from Ulta that I picked up yesterday and last week before my vacation and then two things from Colourpop and I've never tried anything from Colourpop so I'm really excited to talk about them so let's get into it okay first of all sorry the lighting is so weird it's like pouring rain outside and so I don't have any of the natural light that I normally have anyway so I went to Ulta yesterday we got a catalog in um, the mail while I was gone on vacation and it had this deal where if you buy $19.50 worth of $19.50 worth of um, Ulta brand products you get a makeup bag with $88 worth of products inside so I was like that is a great deal so what I did is my sister and I went and we each spent nine ish dollars and then we split the contents of the bag so I'm going to show you everything that was in the bag but I only own half of them so when my sister goes away to school I won't get the other half um, everything is in here except for two brushes that my sister put up in her room she already put away and I can't find them but they're just two little ones a little sponge brush and one is like a tiny tiny concealer brush so just little things so anyway I'll show you the things I bought so I kind of made the mistake uh, it like for the 1950 that we had to spend I made a mistake and I didn't look what was actually in the Ulta bag I just saw like $88 worth of product oh my god I need to go get it and I actually bought a mascara that was in the bag um, so I wish I would have gotten something else because now I have two of these but whatever so I have this it's the Ulta legendary lengths lengthening mascara and it just looks like this so I actually have two of them I don't need to show you the other one so yeah, I have mascara for a while. Um, I'm excited to use this. I have really terrible lashes. They're just super short and don't like to do much. So I'm hoping that this will help them out. Okay, so for the other thing that we got to get to 1950 was this matte ultra cream lipstick. This is actually my sister's, but I just wanted to show it to you guys. Because I actually really love Ulta lip products. It's just a liquid lipstick. It is so pretty. It's like an orangey color. My sister had been really wanting... Oh, my phone. My sister had been really wanting the um, Estee Lauder um, lipstick. I think it's Reckless or Restless, one of those, the orangey color um, that they did in collaboration with Kendall Jenner. And so she got this. That was $30. This was like $9. So she thought this would hold her over. It just looks like that. Just a pretty orange color. It's a really nice liquid lipstick. I'm actually going to do a liquid lipstick comparison video. And I'll try to include this in here if my sister <laughs> lets me borrow it. So those are the two things we bought, so now I'm going to get into what was actually in the bag. So my favorite things in the bag are these eyeshadows. It came with four, yeah, grab one. It came with four eyeshadow palettes, which is pretty good. They're tiny, but, you know, it's nice to get them for free, basically. Um, so the first one is this glitter eyeshadow top coat, it says. So it has a dark, I was going to, I'll open it and swatch it for you guys, the ones that I have, but my sister hasn't opened hers yet. It still has the plastic on, so I don't want to open hers. Um, but this one my sister got from the bag she chose. It's a glitter eyeshadow top coat in the shades High Maintenance and Gold Digger. So it's just this dark navy blue-ish color. Um, it's very glittery. And then a gold, a whitish gold that's also very glittery. It actually probably would look really nice as a highlighter too. So those are really pretty. Second is the other one my sister got. And this one is not open and I'm so jealous because I really wanted this one but we compromised and said if she gets this eyeshadow I'll get the lipstick that came with it so she got this and they're super super pretty shades it's hard to tell but it is a white a gold like a true gold a olive green which I'm like obsessed with and a brown so this would be such a pretty eye combination for going out or for even a daily look that is just gorgeous so the next two eyeshadows are the ones that I have, so I can actually open these up and swatch them for you guys. So the first one I got off are these blues. They're um, in the shades eyeshadow, uh, eyeshadow, Iceland, Peacock, Moonbeam, and Sapphire. So they look like this. They're really pretty bluish colors. It's hard to tell with the lighting, but I'll swatch them. They're actually really creamy and nice. Like They're pretty pigmented. I'm surprised. These are super pretty. So that's what they look like. It's hard with the lighting. But the blues, try to get closer, there we go. The blues, and then you have your um, like grayish color and a white. So those are super, super pretty. Okay, and the second eyeshadow called that I got 
from my sister when we split it is in the shades Innocence, Buttercream, Havana Nights, and Blackout. So this is a really pretty like purplish pink. It also comes, they're all matte first of all. My other ones are glittery so it's nice to have one glittery one and one matte one. So these I'm going to swatch as well. It has a matte like white color, a matte black which is always useful. I feel like every eyeshadow palette comes with a matte black like I don't need any more matte blacks but it'll be nice just to have it all in one place there we go pretty love those shades so I'm excited to use those um, for like going to work and stuff okay next I want to talk about this blush and highlighter duo the only thing I don't like is it's so tiny like how am I supposed to get a blush brush on there but nonetheless these shades are super pretty this is the half that my sister got so it's just a, sh like, sh not even champagne, like a pearl white. And this blush is not very pigmented, but a subtle blush color. So that highlight is gorgeous, though. And then this is, like, a, a dark pink color. Those are in the shade Sunkissed. It just says Sunkissed Blush and Highlighter Duo. Those are definitely, like, the Sunkissed colors. I think they're really nice. But, again, it just sucks that they're so tiny. How am I supposed to get a blush brush on there? Okay, and the last few few things that came in the bag are these. So first, we talk about the brush. So like I said in the beginning, it came with two other little brushes, but I just can't find them in my sister's collection. So this is the one that I got. Um, it just says Ulta Blush Brush. So yeah, this will be really nice for blush. I'm always looking for br for blush. No for brushes because I don't really have that many actually so this would be nice for blush with my Milani blush that you guys know I am obsessed with so yeah okay next is this eyeliner duo which I actually have the brown on today because I wanted to try it out and it is so so nice this like I'm very surprised they're super pigmented creamy they're really nice it's double ended which is really nice so one is in the shade deep brown and one is in the shade just black so they look like that true to their color deep brown and a black they're really nice super creamy they're really pigmented i have it on my bottom lashes right now and i really like it okay next is the lip gloss i have on and it is this ulta mineral lip gloss looks like this it's in the shade sheer opal it's actually not really sheer at all it's like a pretty corally pink color and it's super tiny again but it looks like this let me zoom in wait can you guys see it? it's right here looks like that it looks sheer on the camera but actually in person it's pretty pigmented it's actually really really nice i really like that okay and la or second to last because i need to find that other lipstick before i finish this video um is a brow tint and i have this in my eyebrows right now and it's like this it's in the shade light which is nice so i got this one because my sister's hair is a lot darker than mine so it looks like this it would be perfect for blondes i feel like i'm an artificial blonde but um it's nice to have not so super dark eyebrows so what i do is i fill them in with my it cosmetics brow pencil and then i've been using that tint because i actually like it better than the brow drama i have from maybelline so far because one the brush is so much tinier my eye the maybelline one the brow drama is nice but the the brush is so big it's bigger than my eyebrows so i have to like wipe off the excess which is not that great um but yeah i really like this one because the brush is so tiny again i'll show it super little really cute again it's a tiny package i wish they were bigger sizes but you get them for free so yeah okay and lastly i found the lipstick it is this gorgeous gorgeous lipstick this is my thing i was most excited for my sister and i were fighting for this um so it is a lipstick really creamy really it stays on your lips for a really long time so i'm like so surprised how great the quality is and the shade is called basically berry it's this beautiful berry pink color it's gonna look beautiful all all year round i think it's such a versatile color and it can go for every season so i really love that i love my dark colors my whole family does me my mom my sister we're always wearing darker colors and we don't always branch out into like the barbie pinks or anything like that so i do like to try those once in a while but normally i stick to colors like the berries so i love that one okay and i just want to talk about the bag it came in this big makeup bag which i love it is so cute perfect for traveling you get to choose between two colors that were there so one was like a silvery light purple-ish color and then this one which is like a dark 
purple eggplant collar. Um, it has some sheen to it. It's really pretty. It has this cute little tassel for the zipper. I love this bag. I would get spend twenty dollars just to get this bag. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, next I'm going to talk about just a few things I picked up at Ulta last week. It's only a few, so it's not like a whole haul worthy. Um, and I'm not sure if I already talked about these, but I don't think I did. So first are these Eco Tools brushes. Like I said, I don't have many makeup brushes at all, so I really needed some, but I didn't want to spend a lot. So I was searching high and low, went into Ulta, and found Eco Tools. They were really affordable, I think, for these three. I also had a $3.50 off coupon. But I think for these brushes, which these are dual-ended also, so it's like you get double, I paid like $6 maybe. It was really cheap. It would, Full price, they probably would have been less than $10 still. So first is this foundation brush. I used it today. I like it. It is a little streaky. I'm really trying to find a foundation brush that does not get streaky and does not get like weird, feel weird. Um, but I think that might be impossible unless I want to spend like $30 on a brush, which I don't. So I will take that one. And then I got these two little ones, which are perfect. Um, they're also, it doesn't say what they are. Oh, it says define and shade. This is a shading brush, shading eyeshadow brush. And this is just a, like a eyeliner brush. So yeah. And then these two say smudge and blend. So perfect smudging brush and a perfect blending brush. So I got all four, like perfect eyeliner. Ah looks in one little package that was like less than five dollars so these are really really nice i definitely recommend them i'm just going to quickly mention this because i'm not sure if i mentioned this in another video but i got this um lipstick from jcat beauty um and it's called Powderholic lipstick and it's just this really pretty like alien purple color i think i talked about this but i just wanted to show it off again so pretty so different i just like different lipsticks and i like to try different things so I have another lipstick that's very different for me, so I'll talk about that for you guys. Okay, and my last few products are from ColourPop. I have never gotten anything from ColourPop, so I'm really excited because I hear so much about it. It's so affordable. I got two, just two products. Um, I want to try out more. I definitely want to get a highlighter from them, but I want to finish up the ones that I have first. I just don't have that much room in my vanity, and I don't want to have too many products. So the first is this eyeshadow, and it's in the shade... Um, a maze and I think I heard Alex Garza talk about this I probably did because as you guys know I'm obsessed with her and she I think she used this it's a super pretty it's hard to tell like rose gold it's um, just a super shock shadow it's just like a really pretty gold shimmery almost rose gold like I said I wore this on Sunday it's super pigmented I love this stuff it looks great with a brown eyeshadow in the crease I definitely recommend this what I also love is this was like five dollars and you get a huge amount of product so much so I love that and the last thing I got from ColourPop is a lipstick or their ultra matte lip so I was so excited because like I said I've been wanting to do a matte lip swatch and review and compare different brands so I knew about the ColourPop ones and how cheap they were and I saw Kathleen Lights did the whole swatches of the whole collection so I really really had been wanting an orange lipstick and I was like I'm gonna get the ultra matte one kill two birds in one stone with one stone and get a liquid lipstick as well as something orange that I had been wanting so I got the shade Pacific yeah Pacific I'll swatch it for you guys it's really nice I actually have I worn it but not like out I just tried it on but it looks really similar to the Ulta one, and I think it was actually cheaper, but unless you count shipping. But yeah, it's just a really vibrant orange color, so that's going to look really nice for the summer. Really, really pretty. I love ColourPop so far. I definitely give them a thumbs up, and all the hype It's definitely well-deserved. Okay, that is the end of my haul. Thank you guys for watching so much. I will be back with more videos soon, so see you later. Bye!